Hey, so I'm back here for a second. I reloaded a previous save before I talked to Nagito because I realized that apparently there's a Monokuma right here. Yeah, that's probably one of the harder ones to find. That was really tricky. But in any case, we're back here and we got it. And uh, I came back because I'm not sure if we'll come back to this place again. So I thought better to make sure than to move on without it, right? Because I didn't play ahead yet, so. And also, this volume... Yeah, volume 2, there's more here. Famous Monokuma quotes. I'm a bear. I have no pockets. Bear. Bear. I'm a bear. What? <laughs> not sure what I came back for. Volume 3. <clears throat> I was hiding between the asphalt and the white line in the Metropolitan Expressway, but nobody saw me. I got really lonely and depressed, but I didn't cry. I held it in until I went to bed. Volume 4 I couldn't be proper and serious. That definitely describes me when I'm around salmon. That definitely describes me. <laughs> Volume 5 what? Don't you know? It's common sense if you're in New York. <laughs> this is just random stuff without context. Huh? I've never seen you before. Were you ever one of my servants? Hey, if you're my servant, tell me your servant number. Volume 7. Tuna isn't a bird because it can't fly. With this, I finish presenting my proof. <laughs> Volume 8! Just because I'm a bear doesn't mean I lick honey all the time. Judging me like that is a form of harassment. Well, that's obviously a reference to Winnie the Pooh. By the way, the other day, I came across this uh, Japanese page that listed every single reference in Danganronpa 2. It was completely spoiler tagged, so I didn't see anything substantial. But oh my god, there were like 300 items on the list. It's insane how many references are in this game, really. For example, I learned that uh, apparently, Sonia is a reference to the American band Nirvana. Novoselic Kingdom. One of the band members' last name is Novoselic, and I think they have an album called Nevermind or something. Lots of little references here and there. If I see any more that I read on that page, I'll let you know. But there were so many, from anime to old TV shows to American bands to commercials, just everything under the sun. Uh, if anyone's interested, I'll leave the link in the description and you can check it out for yourself, although it is all in Japanese. Volume 9 At my seaside veranda, I sip mint tea and watch special features about shocking videos on TV. Only during this peaceful time am I released from the darkness in my heart. Oh, Monokuma's got a lot of demons. Volume 10 by transcending all living creatures, all the ladies are under my dominion. All the ladies. All the single ladies, right? Eleven! It's... It's still fun to say, no, that's wrong. But I will never allow, no, that's wrong, law. What? This is... None of this makes any sense without context. I accept all comers. Those who leave me will be torn limb from limb. Or in a baby voice, whim from whim. <laughs> Volume 13 Let's talk about something that happened a while ago Back when I was still at the safari park At the time, the park was on the decline Everyone there was ignoring the rules and doing whatever they wanted Those guys had no order at all It was a wild world where the weak fell victim to the strong During this time, I happened to meet a nice guy named Gorillo As you can guess from his name, he was a pig What? Gorilla was bullied at the park a lot. I disliked bullying, so I stood up for him. I used my assassination fist that I developed with radio exercises and beat all the guys in the park by force. To be continued. No, it's okay. It's okay if you don't continue it. Oh my god. After conquering the park, I became the overlord of the park in both name and reality. I should be thankful to Gorillo. He was the one who gave me the opportunity to fight. I'm not exaggerating when I say that he helped me become the bear I am today. I don't normally say it because it's embarrassing, but I should take this opportunity to thank him. Gorilla, thanks to you, I was able to become strong. The taste of the por Wow. The taste of the pork broth, ramen, and deep-fried pork cutlets I ate afterward were the best. 
But when I tried to eat them, it was too oily for me to finish. Sorry about that. If you're reincarnated, become a pig again. I'll probably be able to eat oily food by then. That's all for now. Bye now. Is that really it? Oh my god! What? I found it! I found the nipple! It stood up! The nipple stood up! <gasps> oh, it was just a dream. <sighs> Please don't put dream quotes in here. 16! If you're gonna lie, I'm gonna shoot you with the smelly liquid from my body. Okay. I'm good at rock, paper, scissors. Even though I can only make paper, I'll attack you with my paper with all my might, so I usually win. Shouldn't you be more complacent? Dude, I am very complacent already to be going through 18 volumes of this shit. It's hard to do things for other people, but you should be able to do it if you're doing it for yourself. So I think you should be more... You should more complacent. <laughs> and I think you and others will be satisfied. Boo boo boo! I feel so complacent about myself for saying such a beautiful thing. I don't think complacent means what you think it means. Why are you taking this game so seriously? So this is the end. I worked hard and read every last word, but I can honestly say I never expected anything like that. I wasted so much time. I guess the saying hindsight is twenty twenty applies here. Not sure if I... Yeah, there's no reason for to ever read them again. Wow, it's like the... It was so nonsensical here. Even the QC person didn't bother reading the text again. So many mistakes. Anyway, uh, let's jump back to the main game now then, shall we? Today, I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results! He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. What? That he can't live without me. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. Oh yeah, you know, I, I just hate it when, you know, when the job changes and then you, you, you get a new job. <laughs> He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. What? Those were the results. My dinner. Oh, I'm so loved. I don't think I'll belong to one person for a while. A glimpse into Monokuma's past life. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at the Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Yeah, yeah, should we go wake everyone else up? Oh. No, we might be one of the last ones to wake up, actually. Besides for Sonia. Sonia, do you... Do you wanna get up and go together? Okay. Ah, okay, I guess it's the whole... You're not allowed to do anything besides the thing you're supposed to do. Sure, why not? Oh! Good morning, Akane! Akane, what are you doing here? Huh. Well, I've been thinking about the statue. 
It's not alive or anything, but it has a strong aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the island. Yes! That sure gets me going! Is this a person? The nameplate says ogre, so isn't this statue of an ogre? Ogre or whatever, it's fun as long as it's strong! Oh, looks like it's almost time. I'll head over to Grape Tower first. Is she thinking about fighting the strongest creature on the island? Well, how about you go beat Nekomaru first? You can't even beat him. Hmm, Sakura. Good morning, Chiaki. <laughs> Are you going to Grape Tower? Nah, she's just gonna stand here and sleep. Huh? She walked by me without even replying. Hey, Chiaki! Is she sleepwalking? Uh, I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Isn't it dangerous to sleepwalk? <sighs> Don't fall asleep while I'm asking that! Ohio. I'll be fine, I think. You don't look fine at all. Want to go to Grape Tower together? Uh, I feel fine, I think. Is she really okay? Dang, I'm like... I'm resonating with Chiaki so much right now. It's... <laughs> back when I was, uh... I had early classes and stuff. I was like that all the time. So, it's a really bad thing to be. And it probably stems from staying up late to game. So, don't do that, okay? People, don't do that. Bad for your health. Especially if you drive or something. Um, all the guys are still sleeping, apparently. Hmm. Apparently. Apparently. Oh, maybe so maybe uh, Hajime deduced that Sonia is still in her room because all the rest of the girls are outside. Maybe that's why he knows. Hmm. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Uh. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. But I'm exhausted! Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. And this isn't just about you, we're all getting screwed here. Huh? But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. Why? I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. Oh, boo-hoo! It's a goddamn elevator! It doesn't even shake or anything. It takes like one second. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator, then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So obviously, we're more tired than you guys. Stop whining! You're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. You have a charger? Oh. Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Oh, kids do that so much. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. Now that we've all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down in the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi? Alright, start the music! This is worse than Monokuma aerobics. 
自然にあるがままに心身ともにリラックスするべし This, this is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Fuck off! We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever. I can't move. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. You intend to keep making us do all this? Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Enough already. How much longer is this gonna last? Didn't he say? Until the killing starts? It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. I don't want to die in a place like this! If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I might as well... What are you saying? Calm down! I can't fucking calm down! There's no food! There's no way to escape! If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death! Wait! Are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? Oh my god, are you on and on about the traitor thing again? I'd rather have that happen to us... ...than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? Fess up! You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear, you better... Stop! Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier. So, let's just calm down for now. <laughs> You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't gonna change. Wait to die from impending starvation, or wait, to someone, or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. I think we should eat Nagito. <laughs> if you're gonna choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. He's so happy about that. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. <laughs> okay, we get more free time. So I didn't have to go back to the archive beforehand. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're, this is not your tower. Why are you here? Free time? Mekamaru. Chiaki! I swear to god, Chiaki, you better talk to me. Hang on, though. I don't think we've seen this room either. Whoa. Hey, what is that area here? Is it just like a clothes changing place? Because it doesn't look like a shower. Huh. Well, I mean, it's grapes. It's grapes. What is there to say? <laughs> Hey, we don't get food, but do we get water? Cause, you know, everyone knows that you can live without food for a little bit, but without water, that's really tough. That's really tough. Mm. Hajime, don't worry about what Kazuichi said. I don't think you're the traitor at all. Mm, thanks for thinking that. 
Chiaki, please, please, I know you're very tired, but so am I. Hopefully you're not sleeping. This is like with the, the whole thing with Kyoko again. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Who do we have then? Not Chiaki. Sonia, we already talked to her. Akane? Or Mekamaru? No one in the archive. No one on the first floor of Strawberry. Fuyuhiko, we already talked to. Nagito, we already talked to. Gundam! So between Gundam and Mechamaru then, right? Or Akane. Akane? Uh, I mean, okay, you know what? Mechamaru is standing right here. It's okay, we can do this. We can get to know the robot a little bit more. I wonder if his- oh wait, hang on. I want to see what you like first. I wonder if your tastes changed. Like, if you're a robot now, can I give you, like, a battery or something? Freshly washed towel? Uh, I don't know what you like. I don't know what you like, but I guess we can reload if you don't like whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Let's see. Let's try looking for a way to escape. I spent time today exploring the fun house with Nekumaru again. Hey, no one still- Still, nobody has gone to that room yet. Hmm. Okay, do we have any towels from Nekumaru? I don't- I don't- I really don't know what you like. Towels? Oh my god. Do we have anything team manager-y? Hang on, let me take a look. Oh yeah, hang on, yeah, this thing! Ogami Clan Codex! You should like it, right? <laughs> Whoa! This is... Why do you have this? No! No questions! <laughs> my friend, you have my gratitude from the bottom of my heart! <laughs> hmm. Nekomaru is staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. Hmm. What? <gasps> Hajime, lend me your body. Whoa, hey, wah! Nekomaru felt me all over my body before I quickly broke free. What the heck? What's going on? <laughs> Just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. Huh? You must have been born with good bone structure. We'll need to change your diet, bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on, what are you talking about? You're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? Well, he wants to enroll you into his, uh, his team. <laughs> I'm talking about you, obviously. Huh? I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all? Hey, I'm glad to find this out because, you know, we're actually finding something about Hajime for once. Instead of um knowing that he doesn't like music, doesn't play sports, doesn't do anything fun at all. <laughs> Let's see. For example, how about that? Using your entire body to fight over a ball. A sport that is truly the manliest of men's sports. Fight over a ball? That's like... <laughs> I don't really want to think about it, though. Nekomaru's probably talking about rugby. Is it rugby? You got it right! Bullseye! Rugby was originally a religious service in the Shinto religion. Oh, I did not know that. The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears. Rice plant ears? In the hope of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of sweat fell onto the first rice seed. By Spike Books. No way. 
I don't know anything about rugby, and I've never even seen a match in the first place. It doesn't matter at all! Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility. And you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural in the rugby field. Aren't you overestimating me a bit? Hey, I want to see like a bolt up, all jacked up Hajime. <laughs> ha! My eyes were never deceived, even if you might be. <laughs> if you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Nekomaru walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Hey, I think you should try it out. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager scouting skill? Yeah, let's go try it out, man. Let's go play some rugby. I should return to my cottage for now. Yeah, your cottage. More time. Well, I mean, Akana standing right here is very convincing. But you know, I gotta. I. Chiaki! I'm so... I am so broken. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? In chapter 5? Please let... Oh my god, god. Please let her live to chapter 5. If we have uh, free time in chapter 5, I'm gonna spend like at least two with Chiaki because I'm so depressed right now. All I want to do is find out what she... What the game... What kind of game she's bad at, okay? That's all I want to find out. Okay. Oh yeah, we can do Kazuichi too. But you know what? <laughs> Akane is standing right in front of me, so I don't mind. Akane! Uh, most of the time, she hasn't really been doing much. And thinking much. So I'm not sure what I think about her. <laughs> Hang on. What do you like? Uh, Report card. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. That's full of despair. It's drooling! Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Akane. <laughs> games, even crappy games. I forgot about that. <laughs> Akane likes fighting and meat and food. Fighting and meat. Okay, we'll find something for you. You know, we should keep her preoccupied too, because she might... <laughs> she might kill someone soon if we don't, like, give her food. I spent time today trying to cheer up Akane. Okay. You would like something related to fighting or... Food! You want a coconut? <laughs> you want, like, some shaved ice? Okay, let me try to find something right for you. Huh, I'm not giving this to Akane, but what is this? Another hope. This valuable diamond was created from the remaining fragments of the original hope diamond when it was cut long ago. Rumors persist that death follows anyone who has possession of this item. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm gonna be dead soon. Okay, to play it safe, I actually looked it up. And uh, it looks like Akane likes this sentry popori thing. So let's give it to her. Can I really have this? You're such a nice guy. As long as I've got this, my body will be like stainless steel! You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating, uh... Hank? <laughs> my name is Hajime. You only got the H part right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? I, I don't think she is. <laughs> Isn't obvious? <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I probably shouldn't have talked to Akane while we're not- while we're in this place right now. Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets, my room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than where I grew up. Oh, she mentioned that earlier too, so it seems like Akane had a pretty rough upbringing too. Maybe just like, a uh, Teru Teru, who I suspect to be poor. Seriously? Even in this kind of situation? It- Hmm? You know how it is. It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Where are you from? 
A trashy place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that like it's no big deal? What kind of environment was she raised in? Anyway, since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. I even sold my used panties to this noisy pig who kept oinking. Panties! Panties! Uh, okay. Well, I mean... Never mind, never mind. <laughs> By the time I was able to legally work part-time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. But that probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. Oh, another example, right? I kinda wasn't born like that. She might be genetically inclined, if you can call it that, but... She gained her gymnast skills from her upbringing as well. What kind of part-time jobs did you do? I'll bet you did stuff like manual labor. <laughs> hmm, well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always pushed me into doing weird jobs. Uh-oh. Huh? At first, one of them told me that all I needed to do was serve food. But I never expected he'd tell me to do it like that. I'm pretty sure Akana is talking about being a waitress, but... What kind of waitress? Oh, I forgot what that word is called right now, but there's a kind of... Wait, not really even a waitress job, right? But then, like, you have a naked person and they put the food on them. Like that thing? What did he tell her to do? Cosplay? Uh, not a roller skater. Did he make you cosplay? <laughs> Aw, cosplay? Is that tasty? No, that's fucked up. Hmm? What happened? Oh, well... Well, anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? That doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Of course. <laughs> right? That would definitely make your stomach cold. That's not the issue. <laughs> what? Man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> Alright, guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. You wish. After she said that, I kind of walked away in a hurry. What kind of past does she have? Most of the people, not most, but quite a number of people here seem to have very questionable pasts. Mikan. Akane. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. I think if you're hungry, stop freaking going to socialize with people. Just stay in your room and hibernate. If this keeps going... If this keeps going until I die... What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it! Where the fuck is the exit? The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. <laughs> oh, it's just lies. But I'm gonna do it anyway. That's right. That's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Well, I don't know. I think we should consult everyone else. Wow. I walk slow. Oh my god. Where? Where the hell is everyone? Everyone else just died off the face of Earth. Oh my god. 
can't really run. So that's in Strawberry House, right? We have to take the elevator. Hello. Uh, hello guys. Damn it. I lost again. I just can't unleash my power when I'm this hungry. Stop fighting! Ha, <laughs> what a pity. I still haven't gotten serious yet. Regardless, if I ever decide to get serious with this body, you won't even last a second. Yeah. yeah, right. Let's train one more time. I can't believe they're going at it right now. Is it okay for them to burn their energy like this? You better not exert yourself too much. You haven't eaten in a while after all. Don't remind me. I was finally able to forget about food. Well, you're really lucky since you can still live even if you don't eat. Anyway, since you have that body now, does that mean you can do it without electricity? Do it to me with electricity. Won't it feel so much more amazing with electricity than your bare hands? <laughs> Guess I have no choice! When I'm done with you, your body won't be able to live without it! I don't even have the energy or willpower to say anything anymore. <laughs> well, good thing we know what it is, because, you know, it's supposed to be really misleading, huh? How the hell are they getting the light on this, this stack of grapes here? Huh. Well, uh, anyway. I'm slow. I'm so slow right now. Can we find anyone else to talk to? No one's on the map, but we might run into them if we walk around, I guess. Hmm. Well, let's go then. There it is. Nobody around here though? Should we go check the towers? We don't know if people are around unless if we... Yeah, because they're not always on the map. Okay! Hajima's going crazy. Gotta get some food. Okay, well... I don't know what to think, man. What can be inside? As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's... that's where the exit should be. There's some sort of a shape theme too, so strawberry is square. Grape is, uh... Was it a pentagon? I forgot. And now we have an octagon. I did it! I finally did it! I finally figured out where the exit is! I can get out! With this, I can finally get out! You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? <sighs> you had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Hey, how about instead of following me, let me talk to you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Yeah. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. Mm-hmm. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it? Or... You know what though? If we weren't- if we're hallucinating already, that means someone else could be thinking of going to that room too and they might not have a chia key to stop them. This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone. But, I I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. 
And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Do we still have to wake up at 7 a.m.? Elevator? What is that noise? Huh? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. Sleep is one hell of a drug. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Oh no, Hajime, I think you should have checked it out. I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There, I saw some guys with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. At the convenience store? She there's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a run-down apartment, and all he has is his pride, because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. About myself. One thing to note is that uh, we have the crummy room. That's why we were able to hear that rumble. But uh, the people in the deluxe room, it's soundproof, right? My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. Uh-oh, sleep paralysis or just really hungry? I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But... I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow, I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Uh, it's already 5 minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. So you know how we're not getting the um, announcements anymore? If a body is found, does that announcement still play? Use the goddamn phone, Jesus. Okay, everyone else awake? Okay, right, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Let's not cause problems for people. Well, uh, pretty worried about what we heard, though. But totally, very uh, normal for Hajime to ignore it. Uh -huh. <gasps> Hajime, good morning! Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? <laughs> My goodness, Hajime! When did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Uh -huh. Um, just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? 
you'd get a stomach ache. Uh -huh. Oh my! Now there's an adorable shortcake! I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. She's still calmly explaining it to her. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? Mm. It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Everyone is going insane. Everybody. And I'm walking so slow. Uh? No! Uh -huh. Bye! Repay the favor? Sonia, get a grip on yourself. How do you intend to repay the favor? Can I bite you? You don't- There's no part of you that's really- Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh god. Hold up. We don't really have time to relax. If we don't hurry, we're gonna be late. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm glad it's in Grape Tower, not Strawberry Tower. Should we check out the map just in case? Don't think we'll find out anything, though. Akane. We don't know anything about the Strawberry Tower. Let's go. Then I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. Oh no. It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. Oh no! On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. <laughs> 